What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916, muscle up. Here at my homie Mike Escobar in the house. You know how we do it with the car talk, episode four. And um, man, we're going to get into some good topics today because uh, Mike is going to fill us in on the car club culture. I've never been a part of a car club. I've always wanted to uh, either come up with a car club or, um, you know, I thought it'd be cool to join a car club. And, um, you know, he's going to kind of, you know, tell me a little bit about how his car club works. And, um, you know, you've been in a low rider car club scene also. So maybe you could fill in the people out there who aren't familiar with the car club scene. How, 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 how does all that work? I mean, you know, basically you usually, how you meet guys are usually like car meets. That's what I did. I met my car club guys. So I'll tell the story how I met my guys. I'm out in San Francisco, as a matter of fact, Treasure Island having a big ass car meet they're bad as fuck and i see these dudes kind of like my age group and i see the kind of cars they got and i just started talking to one of them like man y'all a car club went to woman my boy jason and he said yeah yeah kind of yeah they were kind of barely getting started you know they're more like they're more like family first but they're always hanging out i said damn well shit let me know when you guys roll man i'm down to roll i like to roll deep with other with other you know fellow car enthusiasts it's fun when you go to meetups and shows when you're rolling deep exchange numbers you know, eventually I started hanging around them. Eventually they asked me, yo, you want to be a part of us? Thomas Car Club. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm down. I was already part of a, a low rider car club, which was, I rewind till I was 18. It was funny. I was cruising in the mission, San Francisco. Someone dude named Rich pulled up, pulled up on me. He said, hey, pull over, pull over. He said, hey man, I'm starting a chapter of Uso Car Club, man, low rider club. I said, you got a low rider and you, you down, you down to help me out, like to get it going. I said, yeah, yeah, let's go. I never, I never been in a club, but I'm down, I'm down to roll. I, it's fun when you roll with fellow car enthusiasts, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you guys call each other up like, yo, Big Hurt, get the whip out. Yo, such and such, get the whip out. Yo, such and such, let's, let's go meet up. So let's go for coffee. Let's go to meet up. You know, it's just fun when you're out there together, camaraderie, you know. And that's that's what I love about it because it, it doesn't fucking matter either. Like no color lines, no motherfucking politics, no nothing. Don't matter. You're, we're here for the love of the game. And that's what brings us, draws us together, man. And it's, it's fun. It's a fun community to belong to, you know. And so... um with the car club thing, you guys have like, uh, like uh, any either dues or monthly meetings. Uh, you guys have like the barbecues or, you know, how how does that work? Like as far as, um, you know, organizing, is, you know, do you guys have like um, uh, a car club like logo or t-shirts or the kind of like do you guys take trips together? Yeah, well, so we have like four mandatory shows that we hit throughout the summer. We pick four big ones that we all represent. We all pull up deep because we got members from like Stockton. They have their own little like kind of click out there. We have members in Frisco. Then we have some like the East Bay. Then you got South Bay, which I'm part of San Jose. And then we try to make it a point to like pick four shows we can all represent. We come deep. And yeah, we have a logo, which is trademark Thomas Car Club. Um, we do a yearly barbecue, a car barbecue, bar, uh, car barbecue yearly. Once a year, uh, we do a hundred dollar annual fee, you know, because the chips that helps pay for the, uh, we order like a taco dude, cook tacos, you know, every year makes tacos. And then we do like Pollock, we bring food. So we get it popping. And then we, you know, we bring our cars out, you know, sometimes, uh, we'll know a DJ or somebody in the club and they'll bring out the music. So it gets pretty cool. And then we're very about family. We, we, we like our logo is family first. So always bring your family, involve your family. Cause you know, involve your wives, your kids, you know, so we try to make it a family thing or sometimes it's just the fellas, you know, it just depends on what the, uh, what, it, what show it is or a meetup. Sometimes we just say, yo, like last, I think it was last week and a couple of guys were like, yo, let's go fucking grab some coffee. All right, cool. Call up a few fellas. We're all on a timeline on group me chat so we can all talk to you. Yo, anybody want to go grab some coffee? Good ass weather next week. All right, cool. So we'll go do that. Or somebody will know about a meetup somewhere from other areas. So we network with other people. So we always in the loop about things, which is good. That's the beauty. That's the benefit about being a part of a car club. You're, connected to other car clubs, other social, uh, other groups, organizations, and they'll reach out to you too. Like, yo, we're, we're planning on throwing this event. Would you like to be a part of this? Would you? Yeah. Yeah. And I talk to all my guys, Hey, they want us to be part of this event. Boom. And they'll be like, yeah, we'll bet we're in. So that's, that's the advantage that you have of being in a car club. Now, um, you know, being in that car club, does it give you any better access to mechanics, uh, body work paint i mean because you remember we were talking about that on another episode and that's like in i was looking at some of the comments we got because i put it on both my platforms and a guy was saying in australia he said man you can't trust no mechanics you know so um 
you know, did the car club, did that kind of like, you know, help you guys word of mouth kind of weed out the people who are pieces of shit? Uh, as far as what members go? Yeah, well, like say if you got multiple members and then you're like, hey, man, um, Mike, you know, I want to I'm looking to get some rims on my car. I'm looking to get some exhaust. Who would you know? And the homie be like, oh, uh, call, you know, Fred. Fred got a homie that does exhaust or a hey, whoop de whoop. You know, he, he, he got a connection for a rim shop, blah, 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 blah. You know, do, do that, does that help a little bit? Do you guys have like a oh, it's, it's, oh, it's deeper than that. It's like, yo, we got an electrician in the club. Who's like, oh, yo, such and such. Hit us such and such. All right, cool. Yo. Yo, D, you, you do side jobs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, pull up. Yo, who got a who got a painter? Yeah, bet. Boom. Anything. It's just anything personal. You need something for your home, anything personal. Or I need a plug on this or that. You reach out. Somebody knows somebody knows somebody. That is okay. the beauty. That's the that's the beauty of having that. Like we have connects on wheels. We do have access to certain mechanics. Um not saying they all pan out, or we all have access, like, yo, I wouldn't fuck with that shop, but that shop did me dirty. We also let them know, like, don't fuck with that shop. If anybody says, yo, you heard of this shop or you heard of this car promoter or, or you heard of such and such, like we'll be like, yo, nah, that dude's no good or something. So you okay. do get access to certain things, you know, more than just car stuff, but also on the personal stuff, which is yeah, good. I, I, was, needed, I needed a gardener not too long ago and I reached out to all my boys. Yo, you know gardener? Yeah. As a matter of fact, my neighbor's a gardener. All right, cool. Get my number, okay. tell me to call me and boom. Or I need I need yeah, some that, housework done. That's always the best as far as like word of mouth. Like even yeah. here. Like, hey, man, um, I needed a fish tank guy. And guy's like, hey, call this guy. He, he you know, cleans fish tanks because I got a fish tank. Or you guys need a pool guy or you need this. It's always good to have a referral. Yep. And um, when you could build that network like that, it's, like, big. Because, you know, um, I was seeing in other countries, like, for example, um, I want to say, I can't remember if it was China or somewhere in one of these Asian countries. What they'll do is, like, They'll take like, it'd be like 10 people, 15 people, and they'll all go to buy an appliance at the same time, whether it be a refrigerator, washer and dryer, and they'll ask for a discount because we're buying like 10, 15 of them. So oh. they'll come in there deep and that consumer, that buying power muscles down, you know what I mean? So yeah. if it's like 1200 bucks for a washer and dryer, they'll go in there and be like, look, there's 15 of us, 20 of us. We want to get that bitch at like, you know, 700 bucks, you know what I mean? So I was just thinking like for a car club situation, like you said, if you got a, if everybody's somewhat organized, you could be like, Hey man, um, let's holler at, uh, uh, HRE or let's holler at race line or let's holler at one of these wheel companies and let's see, you know, about, you know, we're going to rep them and see if we can get a deal on wheels. I mean, it'd be, it'd be, that's power. And especially with your social media and you combine that with your club. I don't know if you ever thought about that, but you can take that and contact brands, whether it's Fitech, Holly, you know, uh, uh, some of these supercharger brands, and be like, look, um, five of my boys in my car club are building motors. We're looking to try to run this certain setup. If you guys would be down, we'll advertise your stuff after the cars, blah, 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 give us a deal. And that's a way to kind of pull um, buying power in exchange for promotion. That's true. I've never done that, but that's a very good idea, you know? Um, yeah. One thing Because you got a big social media, and then you tie that in with some of your dudes. And then, like I said, you know, if you're all getting tires, you know, you hit up Toyo. You say, hey, we'll rep Toyo stickers on our cars or um, Goodyear or Michelin or Nitto. You know, you can go to car meetups and rather than just walk around, go hit up a booth and be like, look, bro, we got like between San Jose to Stockton, we know like you know, a hundred dudes, you know, we'll say, Hey, next time we buy tires, you got a rep, that rep will get our business and blah, 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 or we'll make a deal. And then that's a way to, you know, shift your guys' car club into actually a hub for parts. Yeah. That's actually a good idea. Never even thought about doing that. I just, hey, I just gave you guys some game out there, man. Know. You, know. That, you know, you know what it is though. I'll be honest with you, dog is, is a lot of us, kind of like some guys are kind of like on the stock side, some are on the custom side. Everybody's kind of like doing their own thing. We're not on the same page as far as like getting the same parts and everything. You know, like, like my 69 Camaro, not everybody's building a car like mine. Mine's just going to be stand out the more craziest car in the club when it's done. If I'm being honest, you know, my shit's wild. Well, that's what I mean. Like mine. So take your car, but then say, Hey, like even me, if I'm saying, Hey, uh, Mike, I'm, I'm getting some, you're like, dude, let's, you know, for example, me and you say, let's take some pictures. Let's hit up this fucking uh, tire company and say, hey, we'll rep your tires 
give us a deal. You know what I mean? You don't have to be in the same, but it's the far, the fact that we're networking. You know, these people. It's not ba- it's not like back in the day where everybody looking at Dub. Everybody looking on social media now. So yep. me and you are doing Instagram or we're doing this podcast, and we're like, hey man, shout out to Whoop Doop Tires. They hooked us up. Uh, you know, on those tires, I you know I was I did uh, the Silver States or I did uh, the the So and So Rally and those tires, man. They had me. You know, blah 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 blah. Great. You know, we're we're putting uh advertising dollars those are advertising dollars for those those wills so those companies so, you know uh actually repping stuff in your car now has value without even you having to um, really say a whole lot you know what i mean because somebody soon somebody sees your car like dude what efi system you running what tires you running what wheels you running what brakes you running you know what i mean like all that shit is is money bro and if your car is getting you, know, you drop a picture and or you do a video and your car, you know, gets you know eighty thousand views, a hundred a million views, dude. Whatever wheels and tires is on your car, that's worth advertising dollars. That's big You're right. Money. You're right. Social media is the new advertising space. Yeah. Man. It's no longer paying for TV commercials or putting your shit in like in a fucking auto trader or some something like that. I'm just throwing that out there. Like nowadays, social media is the is the is the window to the world. Everybody's watching social media from TikTok. To Instagram, Facebook, not so much, but YouTube. YouTube's a hot, yeah. hot place, of course. You, YouTube Shorts, uh, YouTube Shorts kill it. Yeah, I kill Instagram it on YouTube. Reels, um, some TikTok, but like, yeah, man, because it's like, uh, I don't know if you've seen there's a video, right? Um, it was, uh, if you Google 50, 57 Chevy Bel Air versus motorcycle, a street bike. I heard and about that race. You seen? You ain't seen that one? I heard about that. No, no, oh, actually, dude. I did. They smoked his ass. That dude's dude pulled like- out. He pulled out the gas station, and 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 the bike dude was like kind of just like filming. He had a camera on his helmet, and he got on, and the truck, the beller, like pop, and dude it just it was gone. Ghost. I mean, that video I've watched it probably ten times. I think he's making like easily over a thousand horsepower. Oh, dude, that that car is a monster. Probably but whatever fast. that car is, think about that if. You say engine builder, uh, so and so. You're gonna go, you're gonna. Hey man, what motor did you put? In that? You know what I mean? That's, That's how Nelson Nelson's racing. Remember that I, sh- I sent you the video with the 2,000 horsepower Camaro. Yeah, nasty. Did you watch it? Yeah, nasty. Stupid nasty. That That's video. Probably, that Miller probably had like 2,000 horsepower. That's probably some some crazy ass shit. Yeah. A big ass body can handle that kind of power. And, and it looked like it had a mini tub. Oh yeah. Looks like he had a mini tub. Yeah, because he wouldn't be able to grab the ground if he didn't. He'll be fucking yeah. spinning. Spinning ain't winning. Everybody knows that. He'll be sitting there just spinning. Yeah, so it's just uh, food for thought for those people out there running, uh, you know, car clubs. And, and, you know, if you got any type of organization, if the branding is so big now. And, um, yeah. you know, that's how people get sponsors, you know. Um, sure. I always um, wanted to be sponsored. I've always... Because my car's not done. Maybe when it's done, my 69, then I'll be like, all right, man, what's up? You want to sponsor me somehow? You know, you want something? Well, what you what you do, you can do like after like even my car, like when even I, though paid, I, for, I, got, I paid for everything. I paid for all my parts. I never well, asked me too. Me. me too. But what I'm saying is like I got Rockford Fosgate, like 15s, fucking crazy M, six by nines, mids, highs. But like you said, if somebody wants to sponsor you, then they'll pay to have it redone. You know what I mean? And they could put their stuff into your car. Or somebody be like, hey man, um, even though you got you pay for your rims and tires, somebody will be like, hey dude, we'll give you rims and tires, and you just you got the other ones, you can keep them. You know what I mean? You could have extra sets. So I'm just saying, your car, that's um, smart. Cars are personalities and they're extensions of us. But like, if your your car being unique to you, just like my car being unique to me, it's um, if you see the car, be like, oh that's Mike's, oh that's Big Herc's. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like another car off a lot that you know that just you just tinted the windows and lowered it you know what i mean yeah yeah that's true you're right about that i'm gonna so, definitely i'm gonna definitely you're gonna see me posting a lot of videos of it when i get done not just my coaching obviously is my branding but my car is part of my brand as well it's who i am i'm also yeah. a muscle car guy through everybody anybody who knows me knows i'm i'm in love with cars that's my shit you know that's my life that's my do you guys do a lot of um a lot of cruises, or have you guys done any rallies with your car club? Cruises, yes. We've done some crazy-ass barrier cruises, bro. We're like 500 fucking whips, like barrier takeovers. Like, we'll start, like, 
we'll start like somewhere like let's just say we'll start like in San Francisco, then we'll cross over like to the East Bay somewhere, meet up another location, then from there we'll go to like Sacramento and then just head home after. So we've okay. done that like I guess cruises rallies. Nothing okay. the only one that we did that was that was pretty dope was the quarantine cruise. I went with a couple guys, we're on the freeway from my club that made it out. Bunch of us rolled up yeah. from the bay. Not all together once we should have like my car's done. I'm gonna reach out to some people like, yo, who wants to go to the quarantine cruise? Let's roll deep, make a movie out of well, it, video. You know, you, you know the reason I, I asked because I think it'd be um I haven't you know, they they got they got them on the Midwest, like you know, they got like the hot rod power tour and yeah. they have um some other little cruises I've seen. I mean, and now here, you know, like you said, the quarantine cruise, but it'd be dope like, you know, setting up um uh a rally muscle car rally and um you know hey you guys in the comments you know leave a comment if you guys be down to, you know to participate but basically we start off somewhere you maybe do like um like a three-day where you put together a hotel package in there but you drive somewhere to you know you take pictures you know um you get to a nice hotel you have a you know group dinner everybody chilling meeting everybody and then you do another location you know what I mean? Then, you, you know, do whatever, you know, then you got T-shirts and stuff. But because, you know, most of the rallies right now are geared towards supercars. You know, you got to have a hypercar, supercar, exotic car. Yeah. You know, there's nothing like as far as guys like us, you know, like nothing against, like you said, you know, I, it, it, exotics is cool. But like cruising, like the quarantine cruise to me is like, dude, there's it's so many different cars and people it's just a crazy mix. So having a rally that would have like uh, a K5, 72 K5 Blazer, 66 yep. uh, Malibu, 68 Camaro, 70 Chevelle, you know what I mean? Um, uh, 72 Cutlass. I mean, all those different mixtures of cars and people I think would be pretty dope. And I, I've yet to really see something like that. Yeah, not nah, me neither. Except the Hot Rod Power Tour is like the only one, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's like, you know, Midwest, I think the closest one they have here is when they, um, I think they started in Colorado and then I think they ended up uh, Pleasanton. Oh, yeah, yeah. A friend of mine did that one, bro. He went all the way like Arizona and all somewhere crazy. His truck, he had a C10. I think it's a 70 with a LS3 in it. Thing's a monster, bro. Crazy. Okay. He has that thing, 411 gears, but check this out. He detuned it. A lot of people, they they turn it up, he detuned it. It's, it's crazy the way he takes off, six speed. I think launches like a monster because of the 411 gears, but also cruises on the highway because 411 gears usually light to light, right? But because it's a six speed, he can cruise it on the highway and get good gas. It's we, it's the best setup I've ever seen, like for a non aspirated motor, man. It's crazy. And the thing launches. I got, I got mine. I got four, I got four 11s of my uh, Chevelle. So, like, at. Oh, you do too? 80, yeah, yeah. At 80, 90 miles per hour on a freeway, I'm only like at like 2,800 RPM. Oh, that's not bad at all. So, you got yeah, it. Yeah. So you made it so you could fucking launch off the line. Yeah, I mean it's quick. Like if I get on it, it's, yeah, it's, it's a monster. But on a freeway, like with the with the overdrive, it just like, dude, you know, twenty twenty five hundred RPMs. You're cruising at like eighty five. You know what I mean? So, wow. um, yeah, it's like the best of both worlds. You know, with that, so you got the performance and you have like the top. You know, you can kind of do the highway too. I never thought about doing that. That's dope. Four eleven gears. I wonder what my sixty nine would be if I had four eleven gears. But you got three eighty threes. I probably probably three seventy threes. 373, okay. Yeah, yeah. Normal, you know, street, highway. It's a big yeah, block. Yeah. You know, I got a monster ass block. Though. I got a, that thing was sucked. It's going to suck the gas down anyways because the five, what do I got? 540 punched out to 548 with a four liter Whipple. So. Yeah, but you have, you have uh, what six, EFI you running? Speed. Holly. Holly Sniper. You might be able to be all right. Cause, you know, I have my Chevelle. I mean, when I have my supercharger on there, bro, and I would drive. No, actually, you know what? I hadn't really taken it on any. Yeah, I, I, I used to drive from Sacramento, from L.A. to Sacramento with the supercharger and shit, me and the wife, he'd be, we'd be floating, man. I mean, the gas mileage, uh, probably, it, you know, it wasn't 30 miles per gallon, but it's probably. You know, How many times you have to stop? Not that much, not that many, bro, to be honest with you, because, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't doing 100, but, you know, like cruising at about 80, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. So, yeah. um. You know, I'm kind of interested to see, like, when I get it back, um, and I'm like you, bro. I'm, like, on my mechanic. I went and saw him uh, Saturday, and he said, he said, uh, I said, my birthday's May 10th. He's like, oh, I'm going to try to have it ready for your birthday. I'm like, come dude, just be honest with me, man. If, 
just tell me the end of May and I'll be happy. But um, I'm See. trying to have it back by the end of May. And then I got to take it. Uh, once I finish with him, I got to take it back to the paint shop, had the guy clean up a few things. And then I'm I'm ready to roll, bro. We can hit up some shit. Damn. Getting close. So close so far. It just sucks that the ending is always the longest sometimes. I know, I know. But I told him, like, the same thing. He's like, dude, um, before I give you the car back, he says, I want to beat on it for five days to make yeah, sure, right. you know what I mean, doesn't overheat, the brakes work, this works, you know, anything, you know, everything works before you take it all the way back to AZ. So That's you know, what like I told my said, guys. I told yeah. my guys, same shit, I want you guys to beat on it, beat on it on the dyno. When you're done beating on it, let's let's get the, uh, make sure she's insured, make sure I got uh, what you call that, uh, what do they do when they do that, uh, uh, when they put a value in it, what's that called? Oh, get your appraisal. Uh, yeah, I want my appraisal. You know, protect my, yeah. take my investment, have it insured just in case. And I yeah. want them, yeah. I want y'all to beat on it up and down the highway. You guys take it out. I want, I want, I want to see. I'll go on with you, but I want you guys to beat on it. If something breaks, I want the break on them on their dollar. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Make sure all the uh, electronic shit works. Um, yeah, because I'm running all that Holly shit too. So I want to make sure everything is dialed in. So, cause for me, you know, I take my car on trips, bro. Like, so I plan on driving from here to the quarantine crew at least, you know, once or a couple of times a year. And I want to take it yeah. to Vegas. So I want to make sure my shit doesn't overheat and, um, I ain't got no issues. Well, how far are you from Vegas? Uh, Vegas is probably is it about what, five hours from here, four and a half hours, five hours. I think, oh, that's not too bad. Nah. Because LA is uh, LA is six. I want to say Vegas is about five. Oh shit! You think yeah, I would Vegas, think Vegas is closer? Because I've driven I've driven from Vegas to Havasu a hell of times. Yeah, Vegas to Havasu is closer. Havasu for me, two, Havasu two from my house is like three hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm about three hours. There, right, Havasu. Oh yeah, Havasu's got a big muscle car community. Yeah, yeah. I think the um the uh. The Holly Tuning School is in Havasu. And then, you know, Havasu, there's a lot of shops out in Havasu, man. You know, a lot of guys, a lot of California shops, after, you know, all the bullshit, they move their shops to Havasu, you know what I mean? And they're doing a lot of stuff out there. There's, there's a big cruise out there. I think they have two, um, a couple car shows, and then they have a, a cruise out there every Thursday night or something like that. Yeah, I fucked up when I was in the part of the boating community, like power boating and going to Havasu a lot. Before I got into the muscle car thing, I was – had a DCB 20 foot po foot power boat and we would go out there and we'd rent a house, stay out there for like a weekend or so, or three, four days. I go to the rallies out there, desert storm and, and the houses were so cheap and I should have fucking bought a house out there and kept buying houses because a lot of people who live in cold climates go to Havasu to get away from the cold and they rent houses. Now yeah. Airbnb 10 plus years later, oh, I could have been sitting on a gold mine. The houses were so cheap. I can only imagine what they go for now in Havasu. The only downfall yeah. of Havasu doesn't have an airport, but still people still found their way because you fly to Vegas Rent a car and they usually drive. They have a well, Havasu, it's, 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 this is a season right now, too, because it starts yes. around oh, yeah. uh, Memorial Day. Yep. And then, um, you know, 4th of July, Labor Day. Um, I mean, people bring those big-ass boats out there. They're fucking big-ass you know, boats. You're talking about million-dollar right. fucking power boats, bro. The thing looks yeah. – they're so fucking big that they have to be towed by a diesel truck that the boats are sideways. Pick yeah, up. yeah. I seen – we were coming from Vegas one time. And I seen a boat, bro. It had to be, bro, this boat had to be like 30 something, 40 something feet long. I mean, the diesel's pulling it, like you said, on the side. I'm like, I'm like, God damn. I mean, that thing was a, like, it had to be like 1.5, you know, 1.8. I mean, oh, yeah. Fat, you know. Some of those fuckers are going, those big ass ones, some of them can get over 200 miles an hour on the water. Do you know how fast that is? I used to go about 100 in my DCB. You know how scary that is? 100 on the water. It's not like 100 on the streets, not even close. So, you, to compare, how fast? What's the fastest you've ever gone? In a car? Yeah. One fifty. I probably pushed my Z to about one sixty. Tack on another 40, 40, 50 fucking miles of that on, but on the water. I mean, on the street. That's how fast the boat feels like on the water. It's scary because the air is hitting you, and you're like, oh shit. And I and I've been on a faster boat than mine. My boy had a forty two foot fountain with three. Blown 500s in it. We're in Havis and we're going like 120. One of the girls is screaming, stop, slow down, please. I'm scared. She was freaking the fuck out. We're all been drinking too. Like, ooh, it was dangerous. No good. See, one, one of my one of my bucket list, um, one of my bucket list things, man, is I want to um, 
I want to go to Miami and I want to get on a cigarette boat like Miami Vice oh, yeah. and hit that, hit that, you know, when they go across the thing, you know what I mean? And, and go through the, under the, the, cause they got those crazy, those crazy highways that go across the water. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. I did something like that, but now with a, uh, we did that with our, for our birthday. Uh, fuck. I want to say like eight years ago, nine years ago, we were, but not in a power boat. Got a bunch of guys, a bunch of people, like 15 of us, a group of us. And I uh, reached out. We rented a, we locked in a yacht and we rented a yacht for the day. And it was pretty dope. It wasn't even that bad. It was like four grand, 4,500 for 15 people. So everybody chipped in and it wasn't fast, but it was just, you know, cruising around the bay yeah, and yeah. everything. And it was just fun. We're drinking. I still got a picture on my phone. It was hella fun. We're just having a good ass time. Just chilling, enjoying Miami. Man, That was beautiful. Going under the little overpass. You're going to the overpass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He even let me fucking drive the boat. The dude was cool. He was like, yeah, I got, he was, you know, I drive a boat. I said, yeah, I got a power boat at home. Was, you want to drive? I said, yeah, but we weren't going fast. I was going like maybe 10 miles an hour. Yeah, I yeah. Drive this thing. He's cruising. Yeah, I could drive this thing, bro. I could drive a boat. I could, I could drive a fucking truck. I know how to pull boats. I know how to drive trucks. I just don't know the gearing. You know, I'd have to learn yeah. the gear, but I could drive it. I know how to back it in because you know how you can't back in like a car. You have to turn yeah. the opposite direction. Yeah, it's direction. different because it goes the opposite direction. So you got to. So I know how to do that, back a boat into the water, and I'll do all that. My boy Tommy, he had a 42-foot fountain, so I know how to do all that. Yeah. It's tricky. You got to know what you're doing. So do you, do you plan on going to SEMA this year? You know what? I'm going to try because I haven't been in a minute. I'm overdue. If yeah, my car's yeah. done and I can sneak it in over there, I'm going to talk to my guy like, yo, you got any spots? I don't think I'll make it indoors, but maybe outdoors somewhere. I should reach out to my buddy Arcadio. Demetrius, I don't know if he owns it anymore. See I mean, there's some sick ass cars. Um, I mean, outdoors too. I mean, if you got a sponsor and they'll pay, like, um, you know, so like that's what I said. It's like sometimes people will be like, "Hey, man, we'll ship your car, pay for your hotel." That's cool. If you do all that, I'll show up. That that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can fucking reach out to my guy. Like, who you know? You know, Whipple, Forge Line. Who you know? Yeah, my shit's not a super super show car. It's not a hundred thousand dollar paint job, but what I have under the hood speaks for itself. But see, I, I I seen where a guy um because I got TCI on one of my cars, and I seen where TCI um basically paid for this guy to show his truck at some events because it had all their products on it, and I spent a lot of money on TCI shit on my Cougar. So you know when I get through, I'm gonna be like, hey man, here's some pictures of my car. I got all your shot your stuff in my car, and um, would you guys basically? you know, pay for me to uh, to run it, you know what I mean, at the shows, because it's like you said, I already spent all the money, but, you know, if I want to go to the shows and bring the car, which is a great example of your product, that's when you get at them, you can kind of use that as leverage, because you got Whipple, so you can get at Whipple, and like, dude, why wouldn't Whipple want to display their product in your car that they didn't have to pay for, and all they got to do is cover you for your travel and your time or whatever that's you know that's a that's a great marketing situation for them yeah exactly and not only that it's not your typical ls motor it's a big block that's supercharged that's what i mean you know it's not, I mean. everybody does ls everybody everybody no one has i've yet to see a big block supercharged but because you have to make the intake manifold custom one off you got to, I had all kinds of custom brackets, how to be added for that thing to work, you know, the, uh, the snout. You did you, know did you have to add, add a catch can and all that stuff too? You know, I don't know if we added a catch can. That's a good fucking question. But I so do have, I have a dual, I do have dual meth injection tank because I can put meth injection okay. for even okay. more power. Yeah. So I got that. Then, um, what do you, do you, you have your, uh, okay. you running your, um, your cooler, are you running it underneath your radiator or where are you running your cooler behind your radiator? Where are you running that at the, uh, for your, for your, um, I think I, we're underneath the radiator. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I got mine kind of at an angle where, so it can get a little bit of air under there. And then, um, yeah, but I got uh, a big ass radiator. What is that? Radiators? What's, what's that company? Is our, no, not our Morrison. Be uh, cool. No, no, no. Rick, not Rick's saying this. Fuck no. What uh, is the other one? Name some more. You got, you got, you got, you got a, um, be cool. It's a notch. Above. Yeah. I know there's another one that's really big. Um, a notch above them. It's top notch. Uh, so I, got, I think I got Rick stainless gas tank. And uh, uh I forgot the name, but man, but it, they sell it at summit. I had that one too. It's called, um, yeah. I had it, but it had a leak. Be, in it, be, so cool, is, it. be cool is good, but it's, 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 all, it's cool for what it is for the price, but this one's even a notch above it. I, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, I can't either. Uh, I got dual fans, of course, obviously. 
Yeah, I forgot. I forgot the other one. There's another one because I got I, I got a I got a custom one of my Porsche, and then I got a I got a, another like really big radiator for the Chevelle. But um, I got to see how it does out here. I haven't really got to run the car in so long, man. So I got to see what's going on once I get it back. Um, yeah, I'm man. I'm gonna look it up because it's bothering me now, man. I'm gonna Google it because it's bothering me. I w- I don't know the name. Why don't I know the name? I know. I I I space out on the parts. Griffin. No, it's not. Well, oh, Griffin. Griffin makes good ones too. It is. Griffin, but there's another. There's another company. Um, uh, for radiators. I'm mm. the same. Damn it. Uh, the Wits, no. It's aluminum. I can't fucking find it. I can't think of the name. I wish I knew it's gonna bother me now. Huh. Griffin is a good one, but it's not a Griffin. Yeah. I hate that one. Yeah. I can't remember. I'm looking at some and some racing. Some racing, some racing. Classic performance. Yeah, I Let's can't. Put one in their shit. Hmm. I can't remember either. I'm trying to think. Uh, Let's see. Go for 69 Camaro. Entropy Engineer. Entropy No. I don't even know who this one is. It looks pretty dope, though. It's not Champion, though. Speedway, no. RevTech, no. There's so many out there. I can't remember either, though. Not Jazz. Ron. Not oh, one of my cars has a Ron Davis. There you go. That's the one. Yeah. That's the yeah. one. That's the one. Yeah. Ron Davis, bro. There you go. Yeah. Ron that's Davis. the one. Damn, yeah, I, have, I feel I better than I know. Ron Davis, that's the one I got. He's one of yeah. the best out there. Now, the reason I know about them, because I've seen a lot of the fucking SEMA builds running those fucking uh, Ron Davis. All the big yeah. ones. That's that's what I have in my... Um, they're expensive, I think. I, I forgot what I paid for them, but they're up there. Yeah, they're better than be cool. Is, uh, dual fans, and it's custom. Um, it was custom made for my car. It took like a month and a half for me to get it. Yep, Ron Davis. That's what I got in my Porsche. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, Ron Davis radiators. Yeah, yeah, they make really good stuff. Yes, they do. There's just no joke. So, yep. What do you, what do you, um, what do you, what do you, what are you looking at now? Are you thinking, uh, end of May or beginning of June? Or are you thinking, what we, what we at? We, right now, we're at the last week. We're almost the last week of, uh, I'm, April. Thinking, I'm thinking like, if they get fucking on it, I'm going to go this weekend. I'm like, yo, get on it. Start buttoning it up. If they get on it and everything's slack. There's, it was like a little minor fuel leak they got on. They just changed the oil, put new plugs in her. So she could be ready to get on the dyno any day now. Start beating on on the dyno. Everything's already wired up? I believe so. I think the dash is already in. I'm going to find out tomorrow. I might pull up on them tomorrow and just do a little sneak up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't got much going on tomorrow, so I might pull up on them. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the same way, man. I'm like at the tail end, so I'm like... Dude, let's get it done. That way, this summer I can enjoy it for Fourth of July. I can go and yeah. cruise it. You know, what I mean, hit some you Monterey. Know. You're gonna you're gonna try to bring it from Monterey? Um, I don't know, man. I, I gotta see. I gotta see what's going on. I mean, uh, it would be dope just to be up there for that to take it up there. I never brought it up there, so it'd be kind of cool with it all done. But um, I gotta see because that's just coming up quick. That's in August. Hey, let me ask you: Do they have a? a- Cause it used to be LoJack was like a good it looked like a good company that could trace your car. Is there is there something better than LoJack or? or um, people see- they they have some stuff. They have a they have a um, another company now. I remember like you said LoJack. I think they got something else on there now though that you could. I had another in. one. I can't yeah. remember the name of it. That you could put on there because I remember my homeboy had he was renting out exotic cars for a while, right? And he said uh, the dude uh, the dude tried to take off the tracking device and I guess he thought he took it off, but they had another one hidden in the car and they took the car. The car left, it left from uh, Atlanta. They had the car all the way in Miami and they were trying to like, yeah. And he tracked really? it down and uh, he had a partner cause he partnered up with a dude and they opened up like a rental spot in Atlanta and they were renting out like Aston Martins for Porsches and stuff like that. And see, that's the thing. Like a lot of these guys, Oh yeah, I'll rent the car and they'll run a credit card. And then them dudes nowadays, 
you know, take the car, um, strip, put it in a container, shoot that shit overseas. You know, what I mean, or strip it down like Africa a lot of times, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Africa, yeah. Yeah, dude, it's a, a big market. Of... People don't yeah. know about Africa. I watch a whole program yeah. in it. It, it yeah. goes from it goes from Long Beach, usually Long Beach, like if you're in Cali, from Long Beach to New Jersey. I believe New Jersey is like the biggest fucking port, and then from there, if it passes inspection and gets through there, it goes to Africa. A lot of times, I'm sure it goes other places, but Africa is a huge market for stolen U.S. cars, man. Well, even even now, man, with like classic cars, I was watching a show. And the dude said he had just finished his Chevelle, bro, and uh, he had it on camera. Some dudes went into the garage, took his Chevelle out the garage, rolled it out, and took. he had just finished it and took off with it, bro. Yeah, some youngster. He had it all on camera. But, you know, they take those cars as soon. I mean, if you don't, within 24 hours, dude, they, if you don't find it, it's pretty much, you know, they stripped out. You know, so you definitely um, park oh, they're your gutted. car. Oh, got the whole thing. Your shit is gone. Yeah, yeah, you know, parking your car at certain places and then just, you know, being on top of your shit so that you're not, um, you know, people aren't like, oh, man, that car right there, I'm going to track this car, blah, 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 you know what I mean, and try to, you know, somebody try to gaffle your shit. But, um, yeah, you can definitely want to put something on there. And then um, are you going to get, like, a, a, a any type of, like, radar or laser stuff on there for the for the highway? I should. I don't have any right now. I probably should. <laughs> I'm gonna look, I'm gonna talk to my guy about that while it while it's still there. I might do that. Hey, no, that's another thing, dude. We that's when we get our cars back. That's when we need to get together and hit up these companies and be like, look, let's get a deal. You know You're what right. I mean? I might do that. I might reach out to a company, and be like, yo, what's up? What's up with a a low jack system of some sort? Yeah, we we got to take advantage of that rather than um paying retail like everybody else. Yeah, fuck you know that. I mean? especially like you said, I got a social media page. Not only that is is if I promote it on my page, chances are it's gonna you're, you're gonna a few people are gonna buy those systems. Yeah, exactly, exactly, and that's what, that's why I said um once we uh you know get our shit done and we're rolling around or you know we're looking to do something before we start making we already spent a lot of money so before we spend any more money we need to be like look let's go to this company together or let's hit these people up and be like let's see if we can get a deal. Yeah, and a lot of times they'll do it because they're not losing nothing. It's like you said, it's advertising. No marketing. You so anyways, it's a fucking write off for marketing. People don't understand how business works. Okay, here you go. I will write it off as a marketing. Exactly. Exactly. There's no loss. Some companies are stupid though. They're arrogant and cocky and don't want to do it. Like, bro, it's a marketing expense. You're not losing. It's a win win. Because guess what? If you if you give it to me, and then I promote it. And then five people buy your, your, your product, you, you're already winning. You already wrote this off marketing to me. You just sold five products, five, five units. Plus, plus you didn't have to spend any money. Uh, we already came with the product done pretty much. You know what I mean? It's just an accessory. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. it works out for everybody. Yeah, so let's, right. um, I figure next week, man, maybe we could try to, um, I'm going to reach out to somebody, try to maybe get some um, other car guys to come in with us and chop it up or even, um, we're still working on trying to get a shop owner on here to talk a little bit about the build. The I'll reach breakdown. out to my guy again, man. See how he's looking. I, I know some of these guys are busy and it's, it's tough to nail dudes down or I think a lot of people get shy and who knows. I know I've, I've had people talk about doing something and then dude, I, I hit them up and they don't respond. It's like, yeah, I thought you want to get out on the channel, man. So, um, yeah. I'll see what I can come up with too and see if we can't get a couple of shop guys to come on and, um, yeah, brother. Let's uh, we'll keep the people updated, and hopefully, real soon, we'll be dropping uh, some videos of our cars. Yeah, and um, you know, we can tell people, hey, where to, where to catch us at if we want to, if they want to meet up and um, you know, talk cars in person. Yep, exactly. And eventually, so, we create a community of like, all right, start following us, and we start getting yeah. a community like, yo, let us know where the spots are. We'll let you guys know, and then start. Start networking. Just like you guys went to that car show, you know, like you said, in um, Morgan Hill, bro. You could have had a couple people up there and, and met up and then, you know, got some good content or, you know, networked with some people up there. Because, like I said, people are always asking what's, like, what's going on in their city. You being in um, the South my Bay, boy, me being in Arizona. My boy developed an app. One of my boys, check this out. It's called Boulevard Connect. But his app's more geared to the lowriders. And what his app does, and gave me an idea, is his app is like, say – you come, you come to the Bay and you're like, all right, fuck, I want to see some shows, some meetups. You go to the app, all right? 
I'm, I'm in the bay at this date. Show me where the meetups are. And boom, meetups will pop up. Boom, boom, boom. And car shows will pop up. So he's doing that for the lowrider community because he's he's got a product he promotes called Cholo on the Lolo. It's this little talking doll and shit. It's pretty fucking I've cool. I've seen that. I've seen that. That's my, that's my boy, man. I grew up with him. He just I just had him on my podcast interviewing him. And uh, he uh, – so now he's creating that app. So now people know at all times where there's car shows and where there's meetups just by going to the app. Like you go to Miami, Florida. All right, where's uh, – Where's a lowrider meetup? Because lowriders are not very common in Miami. Where's a lowrider meetup? Boom, you find it. Or where's a lowrider show? You know, that's what's cool. And that they, we don't have one for our community. And I'm like, fuck, I wish I knew how to develop an app. I need to pick his brain. Yeah. Like, they got it. I mean, it's ours is word of mouth. Yeah. And yeah, social word media. Of, word of mouth. And then, like, social media. Uh, you got to follow certain pages. Certain pages kind of tell you what's going on and what yes. cities and stuff like that. So, yes. you know, but, um, yeah, man, we'll try to, we'll, you know, I, I want to put that out there for everybody who's uh, watching. If you guys are into muscle cars and you're interested in doing a rally, um, I want to I want to organize something, man. I would like to put together like a nice little drive to hit up a couple spots. And, you know, it's not about a race with the old school. It's about cruising, no. having a good time, yeah. you know, meeting people, having some good food, conversation and, um, you know, talking cars and life, man. That's it, man. Enjoying our babies. That's all it is. That's what people understand. Those cars are like your kids, man. You enjoy them. So we're going to work on that. You guys hit us up. Uh, Mike, uh, we'll, we'll put it, you know, tell them your, your social media stuff and we'll put it also in the link. Yeah, Mike. Mike's Classics and More. IG. Esco Elite Mindset. YouTube. You can find me on. There you have it. Uh, Big Herc now on Thick. Six and Mike Escobar Car Talk Episode Four. Holler. All right. Are you tired of smelling funky? Have you washed your ass? Go to bigkirknell16.com and get to Nutsack Run.